Hey, hey Tamar, uh, thanks for the time. I wanted to ask you, I, I asked Coach Woodson earlier about, you know, this team playing fast this year. How, how much is that being emphasized to you guys compared to, to last year, and how much better prepared do you guys feel like you are to play more up-tempo this year? Uh, we feel like that that's just something that'll help us from an offensive standpoint. And, I mean, it's really just a credit to what we want to do on the defensive end, you know. Obviously, you know, we do want to run sets and be able to execute in the half court, which we'll have to, you know, at a certain point when we come up against certain opponents. But when we can get stops and, you know, get out of the transition and get easy baskets, we want to um, take advantage of all those opportunities as much as we can. Wilson. Tamar, uh, Coach Woodson was talking about just the strides you've made. I'm just wondering, what do you see as the biggest difference between yourself right now and yourself a year ago at this time? Um, just uh, more experience. You know, I know a little bit more coming into the season, just in terms of, you know, the team dynamic, what Coach Woodson and the rest of the coaches staff want for me and need for me um, as a player. And then, you know, just just from a mental standpoint, you know, just knowing that I can, you know, go out there and be able to, you know, play through mistakes and, you know, uh, play hard and know that the uh, coaching staff has, you know, a little bit more trust in me to be able to help us uh, go win games. Alex and then Tyler. Tamar, thanks for the time. We appreciate it. I'm curious, just, you know, obviously when you came up through the ranks in high school and AAU, you're a starter on a team. What's the adjustment like? at this level coming off the bench? And is there any change in the approach, you know, going into a game when you know maybe you're coming off the bench rather than starting? No, nah, the, the the focus always remains the same. And I mean, just for, you know, coming off the bench, the way I see it, you know, um, you know, me coming off and, you know, subbing into the game, teams having to deal with that, that just makes us, you know, that much better and shows how strong we are um, just as a unit. You know, the fact that, you know, I'm coming off the bench after watching, you know, five minutes, three minutes, however long of the game go by, you know, I can get a feel for it just from watching and seeing what's going on, you know, just from a scouting standpoint, you know, what they like to do and what they like to go to early. But, um, nah, the approach is always the same, you know, because the end goal is to win the game. So no matter who starts, you know, we we're, we're always keeping the long game in mind and just, um, you know, worried about, you know, finishing the game and coming out with a W. I would say it's just like you always know or we we always know like when this like when the time and place is, you know, for, you know, being serious and, you know, when we can, you know, joke around, you know, have fun. But, you know, it's a fine line, you know, between, you know, when it's time, you know, really work and, uh, you know, do what we need to do and handle our business. So I feel like he does a good job in facilitating, you know, an environment where guys are, you know, comfortable being themselves, but also knowing, you know, we still got a job to go do and uh, everybody has to, you know, pull their weight and, you know, be able to focus when, when that time comes. William and then Mike. Hey, Tamar, um, how would you define your role this season and how would you say that's changed from last year to this year? Um, I would say my role this year is to obviously bring a spark, you know, whether we're, you know, playing well or not, you know, just be able to change the flow of the game of what I do best, um, which is, you know, defending, you know, getting out of transition, getting easy baskets, making shots, creating my own shot, and then creating opportunities for others to score. And obviously, you know, leading the defense, you know, when I'm on the back line, you know, constantly communicating and, you know, bringing the um, younger guys along and, you know, helping, you know, them with, you know, the, the experience that they do have, you know, it, along with the skill that they have, just being able to be that guy that they can come to to, uh, you know, help them figure out, you know, or navigate this journey, you know, their freshman year because, you know, um, especially Jalen and Malik, you know, they have, you've seen earlier, you know, they're, they'll probably play a good amount of minutes along with CJ and KB, but it's just being able to help them, you know, feel comfortable in their shoes and, you know, continue to, um do what they can to help us win games, because that's what it's all about. Mike and then Tyler. Yeah, Tamar, 
you know, I, I think one of the reasons why everybody's picking you guys so high, both in the league and nationally, is because because of the bench. Um, you know, everybody says how much depth you guys have, and you showed that the other night. You know, you guys kind of took over the game when, when the second unit came in. I'm curious how much of a source of pride that is, how much you guys talk about that, you know, the main group coming off the bench, you know, just the – kind of the mindset of coming in and, and taking over games and kind of being the difference on this team? I mean, a team is only as good as, you know, the last man on the bench, not just, you know, the guys who come off and provide, you know, um, a spark or whatever we need or whatever the game calls for. But, you know, like you can think back to, you know, teams like Golden State, you know, when they continue in their run, you know, what they're doing now and even um, other good college teams from the past just, you know, when – you have depth and can go into your bench and rely on those guys to go in and make plays. You know, we take pride in the fact that we, you know, have the ability to, um, you know, make plays and help us win games and be able to do things and that, um, you know, help the team and, and uh, take some, I wouldn't say pressure off of the guys who start the game, but just like they know that when they do sub out, it's somebody in the um, game that they can trust and believe in to um, – you know, make one in place. Tyler and then we'll wrap with Alex. Tamara, I noticed you uh, got a tattoo of uh, your daughter's name on your arm. Uh, I guess, uh, when did you get that and, and why was that something you wanted to do? Um, I got this tattoo, sh let me see, it is It's November 9th. I've had it probably about, it's probably coming up on a month. So, um, and then... I mean, I got it just because, you know, obviously she's not with me all the time. And, I mean, she's, you know, really special to me, means a lot to me. So I just wanted to – I was I, I was going to get a tattoo um, or something that, you know, had to do with her regardless. But, you know, just getting her name tattooed on me, you know, kind of just carrying her with me always in a sense, um, you know, was something that, you know, I just felt like it was, it was um, nice to do just because, you know, the tattoos that I do have, I really just try to – put things on my body that actually mean something to me. Obviously, my daughter means the world to me. So, um, you know, I got her name, then I got her um, footprints on my hands, left and right. So, um, yeah, that's that, that, that's a little That's just how that went. Last question, Alex Bozich. Tamar, you mentioned uh, Jalen and Malik and the freshmen. I'm curious just from practice – where you guys were a season ago at this point into now, is there a noticeable difference just in terms of the level of competition uh, when you guys step into practice? And can you feel that as a player that you've gotten better as a team overall compared to where you were last year? Yeah, no doubt. You know, just because, you know, when we do, you know, split the teams up and it's, whether it's a mix or if it's the, five, the starting five versus the second five, you know, we always compete. You know, we're never just, you know, it's never a time like where it's just like, completely one-sided or, you know, you know, we just lay down or whatever. It's, you know, we, you know, we get after it every day just because we have the guys that can, you know, compete with our um, first five, whether we, like I said, mix it up or not. But, yeah, it definitely is a noticeable difference in terms of the level of competition in practice. And that's that only makes us better because, in a sense, you know, the games can be a lot easier than practice. Like, practices can be harder just because, you know, it's, you know, it ain't no refs and, you know, we know each other's plays and the defense. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's really good that we're able to get, you know, high level reps uh, in practice.